Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars and welcome to another PlayStation review. Today's review is for Cobra Kai 2 Dojo's Rising. Now you may or you may not know that um, this is actual in actual fact the second Cobra Kai game that has been released um, on consoles. The first one came out a couple of years ago, I don't remember exactly, but it is a game I did cover and review on the channel if you are interested. Um, so this is a sequel to that game, and now obviously due to the popularity of the Cobra Kai TV show, it makes sense to try and cash in and get some kind of um, martial arts type beat em up going. And that was very much what we got in the first game, it was a typical uh, old fashioned side scrolling type um, arcade beat em up. Um, and while there is very much more of the same here in this sequel, they have they have also tried to be a little bit more ambitious with some of the modes that they've added in there. Um, it is worth saying as well that um, the majority of the voice actors on display here do sound like their counterparts from the TV show. Many of the voices certainly were recognisable to me. I couldn't tell you 100% if they were all the genuine actors, but I think the majority of them certainly were. Now, what do you get in regards to modes here with this game? Well, the, you do get a story mode. Um, now, the story mode essentially focuses on you choosing at the start which dojo you want to take part in uh, to do the story mode in. You've got Miyagi-Do, you've got Eagle Fang, and of course, Cobra Kai. Um, and each of those will kind of take you on its own unique story. Um, through the game and I won't spoil any of them really but um, and with each story that you choose you'll meet familiar faces meet familiar characters fight familiar people um, but the majority of this essentially is just kind of arcade style beat em up in recognizable locations from the TV show like the school and things like that and garages and a lot of places that you'll recognize it's fun arcade disposable action beat em up type stuff um, and that's exactly what you're getting and it's it's pretty much the same story no matter which dojo that you choose it's just kind of fronted with different characters really. Um, so that's essentially what you're getting with the story mode. Um, there is a Cobra Classics mode. Now that sounds great. I mean, it's essentially you taking part in classic scenes from the show. And that, that sounds really interesting, but unfortunately there's only two of them. There's the big fight scene from, uh, is it the second season uh, in Cobra Kai? um where you and all the students have a massive scrap sort of thing and then there's the scene where johnny um and daniel have that fight in that uh, mechanics garage when they're looking for robber uh, and essentially it is just fighting off waves of enemies basically that's that's essentially all it is really but they are kind of lifted and themed straight from the show um i think the probably i don't know if they're intending on adding more but at the minute there's only two anyway there is a survival mode which is exactly what it sounds like you basically choose four people on your team from the roster of characters in the game um, and then you take on waves of waves of enemies and try and last as long as you can and then there is the all valley tournament now this was the turn this was the um uh mode that was interesting me the most and it is exactly what you think. You are taking part in the All Valley Tournament. Now, it's not the, strictly speaking, the rules that you've got used to in from watching the movies and the TV show. Uh, but it is a more stricter format. It is a tournament, uh, in a sense. So you've got to score points to beat your opponent. However, it is by far the clunkiest mode on the game. Um, the mode that I played had absolutely no sound in regards to the fighting, you know, the kicks and the punches. There was no impact noise at all. Um, and I don't know if it's a bug in the game. Um, all, all I heard was the music, like the arcade music playing in the background and things like that. And there's a few cutscenes after you kind of win each round with your sensei applauding you on and all this kind of stuff. But yeah it's it's actually a bit of a disappointment the old valley mode if i'm honest um it's not all that and i think they could have probably put a little bit more time and effort into that mode to make it feel a little bit more i don't know impactful certainly at the very least um so those are the modes that you get now you do get some options in the options menu you can change the camera angles and things like that and there's a jukebox mode where you can choose the music you want to listen to all that kind of stuff but um 
the the fighting what's the fighting like in this game then well it's very very basic you've got simple controls you've got quick attacks you've got a strong attack you've got your dodge you've got your parry you've got special attacks that you can use um you've got chi attacks uh, you can block you can um grab hold of people and throw them and you've got environmental attacks um, so if you've got like a chi move and you're a, you're a, a place in the um level where you can use like an environmental attack you press your chi attack and it'll kind of throw them into a bin or chuck them against a car or whatever chuck them through a table they are pretty cool to pull off but um yeah that's basically it guys it's fairly simple controls however you kind of find yourself resorting to button bashing unfortunately it's not what you would describe as a tactical fighting game by any stretch of the imagination um I, I mean, I'm not massively a fan of fighting games. I used to be like them a little bit more when I was younger. Um, I'm really, I've really picked this up only because I'm a fan of the show um, and it looked a little bit of fun. Uh, throw away dispensable arcade action fighting fun. And that is essentially all this game is, really. It is arcade beat-em-up type gameplay. Uh, it's nothing more complicated than that, unfortunately, guys. If you're looking for a deep sim you're not going to get it here but you shouldn't expect to get it here this is essentially just um a typical beat em up very old-fashioned in its presentation it doesn't look particularly special some of the characters don't even look particularly like their counterparts on the tv show so i don't think it's a particularly good looking game um it's not really enhanced at all for ps5 i've not i've not noticed any of the you know controller things when it's going off um, my dual sense stuff on the ps5 so it doesn't feel like it's been you know enhanced at all for a ps5 even though you can get it on ps5 or ps4 um, the camera is amongst the worst i think i've ever experienced in the game it's all over the place it's it, it's just not good it's it's constantly in the way and um, the controls are pretty clunky but there's a certain amount of arcade charm to this game. If you like the old style type arcade beat em ups, there might be something here for you. I personally think it's a little bit overpriced. Uh, I paid about £40 for this in the UK. I think this shouldn't have been priced any more than £24.99. So I would suggest waiting for a sale for this one, guys, if you are interested. Uh, because of that, because of the clunkiness of it, because of the price of it, um, I'm giving this one a 6 out of 10. Yes, there's some simple fun to be had here, but it's overpriced fun as the way it is right now. So I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. I hope you found it useful. I will, of course, be back with more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.